The short message is entitled The Thief on the Cross, the rest of the story. And our text is Luke 23, 39 through 43, which we will definitely get into a little bit later. The thief on the cross may not have gone to church or been baptized or been able to live a life of obedience, but there is far more to it than, as one noted preacher said, the guy in the middle cross said I could come. This thief's short lived life bore. A lot of fruit, guys. And let's look in the scriptures to see what it was. First, let's look at who he was. The thief was a zealot trying to overthrow Rome and had been arrested with Barabbas, whom Jesus replaced. Let's look at Mark 15, 6 or 7. Now at the feast, he released unto them one prisoner, whomsoever they desired. And there was one named Barabbas, which lay bound with them that had made insurrection with him, who had committed murder in the insurrection. Okay, so this guy was with Barabbas. The people demanded Barabbas be released in place of Jesus. This left the two criminals who would die for their crimes, the two insurrectionists. The thief here was at first a Christ rejecter. He rejected Jesus as the Messiah. This may come as a surprise to many people, but the very guy who later Christ would say, would join him in paradise, rejected him at first. Let's look at Matthew, starting at chapter, verse 41, rather, of chapter 27. Matthew 27, 41 through 44. Likewise, also the chief priest mocking him with the scribes and elders said, he saved others, himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in God, let him deliver him now if he will have him. For he said, I am the son of God. The thieves also which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth. Notice, both of these thieves mocked Jesus. Now I say that so that you will understand that there is more to the story than what is often told. This incident, which is our text, happened later. Let's read it. Luke 23, 39 through 43. And one of the malefactors, which were hanged, railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answered, rebuked him, saying, Dost thou not fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward for our deeds. But this man hath done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Now let's look at this the entire scripture. Let's see what it's telling us. The thief on the cross, first of all, demonstrated repentance. Look at verses 39 to 41. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Dost thou not fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward for our deeds, but this man hath done nothing amiss. The thief changed his mind about Jesus. He went from attacking Jesus to recognizing Christ's innocence. Also in verse 41, let's read this again. Dost thou not fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward for our deeds. This shows that the thief on the cross recognized himself as a sinner deserving his punishment. And again, verse 41, but this man hath done nothing amiss. Dig this. The thief on the cross became one of the first Christian apologists. He went from attacking Jesus to defending him. He went from mocking him to becoming his apologist. Look at this. This man hath done nothing amiss. He hasn't done anything wrong. He doesn't deserve to be here. So at first he's mocking him, and now he is defending him. The thief on the cross also recognized Jesus as Lord, verse 42. And he said unto Jesus, Lord. Now, this thief, being a zealot, was a Jew. That means he would have had at least some knowledge of the scriptures. And the word Lord was not a word you simply threw around, folks. Lord would have been recognition that Jesus was the deity the scriptures claimed him to be and the God in human flesh that he himself claimed to be. Now, the thief on the cross also recognized Jesus as the Messiah King. Well, how can you say that? Well, look again at verse 43. 
Continuing, it says, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. The Old Testament was clear that the Messiah would be the son of David that would have an eternal kingdom. The Old Testament was clear that the Messiah would be the son of David who would sit on David's throne on earth in his kingdom. The thief on the cross said all of this publicly. So we have a public profession of faith in Jesus Christ. And it was after this thief's declaration of faith that Jesus told him this in verse 43. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. God bless.